Hi, I'm Craig Price with Surface Water Solutions. Welcome to our next video covering terrain modification in HECRAS. Now, it's uh, Christmas is over here in Australia. It's Boxing Day, but uh, on the rest of the planet, it's still Christmas Day. So uh, it gives me an excuse to keep my glitter beard going and to still wear my uh, Christmas shirt that uh, is courtesy of my kids. So with that, let's get started. Now, I wasn't planning on making another video in this series. I think our previous videos covered pretty much everything you might want to do as far as terrain modification in HECRAS. We covered putting in buildings and detention basins, dams, levees, uh, bathymetry. Uh, one thing that I left out, though, was uh, moving a bridge deck, uh, taking a bridge deck that's in your terrain and removing it and putting it in somewhere else. Um, that's uh, the reason I left that off is because it's actually covered in the HECRAS manual. Uh, this is the example where you had a bridge that's in the terrain and then you have a bridge that's not in the terrain. But I've had a few questions that people have asked about uh, doing this and even though it's in the manual I thought I'd cover it to just show how simple it is. Now I'm going to start with a model that we've created for our structures course and this is a shameless plug for our online course covering HECRAS structures uh, where we as one example take w one structure and build it seven different ways with 1D and 2D uh, in the terrain out of the terrain so that's the terrain that I'm going to start with so if I take this bridge deck that's right here it's in the terrain and I'm going to move it down here so I've already got my geometry set up um, you can see the setup right here where I've got uh, bridges built into this. Uh, some types of bridges are best off modeled with the bridge deck being in the terrain. Other types are best off modeled with the bridge deck being removed from the terrain. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new geometry. I'm going to call my new geometry bridge move example. Now the only thing I need to do with my new geometry is to add river reach and cross sections. So I'm going to expand the rivers, start editing, and now I'm going to draw two reaches. One is going to be along the river center line from upstream to downstream, and I'll call this one bridge remove. I'm going to add another alignment, and this one is not technically a river reach, but this is the center line of my new bridge, which I'm going to put from here to here. I'll call this one bridge add. Last thing I need to do is add some cross sections. I don't need to put any geometry in here at all because I'm only going to be interpolating these cross sections. Now in keeping with good HECRAS practice, I'll draw this from upstream to downstream looking left to right, and I'll put in one section on the upstream side and one section on the downstream side. Likewise, on the bridge that I'm going to be adding, I'll put one cross section here which represents the roadway deck, one on the upstream side and one on the downstream side. Now you might think there's more to it, but that's it. That's all you need to do. So let me go ahead and save this one. I'll stop editing, say yes, I want to save this, and now all I need to do is export this layer as a GeoTIFF. It's going to ask me for a resolution. I'm going to put this in my other terrain files here. I'll call this one Bridge Move and give it a half a meter spacing. Now if I click down here on the messages, you can see that it actually did it, it exported it, but I won't see it until I create a new terrain which merges the two terrains together, the one that I had before with the bridge deck in it and uh, the one that I've just made with the bridge deck moved from here to here. So I'll add these here and I need to stack them in the correct order. This was my original one, this is now the moved bridge. I add them both, make sure that uh, my moved bridge goes up to the top. I like to give this a new name here so that I can keep them separate. This will be my merged move bridge. And now when I hit create, it walks me through this process and completes it fairly quickly. I'm going to now uh, have a look at my new bridge. And when I zoom in on this one, you can see that uh, the bridge deck that was there before uh, is now gone and it's gone in uh, a little bit skewed and you do need to be a little bit careful on how you do this because all it's doing is connecting these points. I could have entered these in with specific coordinates and uh, made it perfect, but uh, you can see it's done the trick. So if I cut a section through this right down the center line, you can see that where I had the bridge before, it's gone. I've got a new bridge deck here. If I turn on both my terrains, um, from the example I had before and do the same thing uh, right down the center line you can see that I've had a bridge that was there it's gone and now it's right here so there you go there's how to move a bridge I hope you've enjoyed this I hope you'll subscribe and I look forward to more interactions with you online Merry Christmas from Glitterbeard signing off <laughs>